Hey everyone, welcome back to BK42 Cycles. Today, we're digging into the Engui P275 Pro, an electric bike built for owning your daily commute, or just cruising around town in style. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. But before we jump into the nitty gritty of this review, I've gotta give a shout out to the top notch packaging this bike comes in. Assembling it is a piece of cake, and you can see just how easy it is in this video right here. All right, buckle up, let's get into it. First thoughts, the P275 Pro looks super cool and modern. It comes in one size and has two awesome colors, black and this rad black and orange mix. The frame is solid and seems like it's made from one piece of aluminum because of those slick welds. This bike is a versatile player, accommodating riders from 175 centimeters to 200 centimeters and handling a max load of 100 kilograms. Surprisingly, even without suspension, this frame handles bumps like a pro. And guess what? Engui smartly hid the cables inside the frame, giving the P275 Pro this clean and tidy look. It's all about that sleek design. Let's dive into the specs of the P275 Pro. This bike rocks a 250 watts Bafang mid-drive motor, packing a punch with 65 newton meters of torque. That means you get smooth and powerful acceleration, handling inclines like a champ. But here's the deal. It's a European model, following the 250 watts power limit and maxing out at 25 kilometers per hour. Hit that top speed and the motor takes a break. No worries though, you can always pedal it up a notch with your legs. Now, the rear three-speed automatic hub is a game changer. Shifting on the fly, even cruising at around 30 kilometers per hour without that annoying ghost pedaling feeling. The motor, belt, and rear hub operate quietly and seamlessly, giving you that extra push only when you need it. It's a seriously smart setup on this two-wheeled wonder. Powering up the P275 Pro is a beefy 36 volts 19.2 amp hour Samsung lithium ion battery. Engui boasts a range of up to 260 kilometers on a single charge, and that's no small feat. But let's be real, this is the optimal scenario. Your actual range depends on factors like your weight, the terrain you're conquering, and even how much resistance the wind is throwing at you. Speaking from my own adventures, I put the P275 Pro through its paces in boost mode and clocked a solid 37 kilometers. And even after that joyride, my battery's still standing strong at 87%. Sure, hitting the full 260 kilometers might be a stretch for my laid back cruising style, but I'm confident I can easily breeze past the 200 kilometers mark. On the convenience front, the battery is removable, making it a breeze to charge indoors or at work. But here's the catch. Charging time isn't exactly breaking any speed records, taking around five to six hours to juice up completely. Plan accordingly. Let's dive into what sets the P2175 Pro apart with some standout features. First on the list, the hydraulic Tektro disc brakes, sporting 180 millimeters rotors on both wheels. These brakes are the real MVPs, offering a smooth lever action, zero annoying noises, and bringing the bike to a stop in no time. Safety first, especially in the hustle and bustle of city riding, where quick, confident stops are a must. Now, let's talk about the Gates Carbon Belt Drive. Forget the traditional chain hassles. This belt drive demands minimal maintenance and delivers a much quieter ride. Say goodbye to greasy chains and irritating rattles. It's a game changer for riders who crave a clean, hassle-free biking experience. Hey folks, a quick reminder. Before we explore these awesome bike features, hit the subscribe. I check out cool bikes all the time. Don't miss out. Okay, let's talk about the nifty display on this beast. It's small, bright, and colorful. Controlled by three buttons on the left side of the handlebar. It dishes out all the deets you need while riding. Speed, distance, battery status, range, max speed, trip distance, power consumption, light status, and more. There are five riding modes, Eco, Tour, Sport, Sport Plus, 
and boost. Plus, if you're feeling hardcore, you can switch off the assistance altogether. And check this out. The display has a day-night sensor. When things get dark, the integrated headlight kicks in automatically. But if you want to take control, just press the up button for a couple of seconds. Now, onto the lights. The headlight is fixed in the frame, so it takes a sec to catch up with your turns. No biggie, just a heads up. And the rear light, while handy, doesn't sync up with the main battery system, so you've got to flip it on yourself. Moving on to the saddle post adjustable height. It's a game changer. Adjust on the go with a small lever. But here's the scoop. After some riding, mine tends to droop a bit. Not sure if it's a glitch or just my unit being a rebel. While the Cell Royal saddle offers impressive comfort, the real eye catcher is the sleek rear rack boasting a 25 kilograms capacity. However, whispers suggest it can handle even more. Rainy day rides are worry-free on this bike. With those awesome rubber-covered pedals and dual aluminum mudguards, your feet stay secure and you stay dry. For an added dose of safety, the 27.5-inch tires come decked out with reflective stripes. Perfect for those night rides, giving you that extra visibility when the sun takes a break. Last but not least, Engui throws in a slick bell. It looks good and rings loud enough to clear the path without giving folks a heart attack. Cool, right? Before we dive into the pros and cons, let's chat a bit about the distinctive riding experience this e-bike brings to the table. Unlike other Engwe e-bikes, typically sporting fat tires or a moped-style powerhouse motors, the P275 Pro is tailored for European rides. It's all about ticking those EU regulation boxes. No throttles, a 250 watts motor, a 36 volts battery, and a max speed limit of 25 kilometers per hour to keep things within the legal limits. I almost missed this. Despite its size, this bike is surprisingly lightweight, tipping the scales at only 25.3 kilograms. It may look substantial, but trust me, it's got that easy breezy feel to it. If you're on the lookout for an e-bike that does all the legwork for you, this might not be the one. Riding the P275 Pro feels more like a traditional push bicycle, with automatic gear changes and the need to put in some effort if you want to zip around. The motor kicks in when you need that extra push, especially on those long hills where it provides just enough assistance to ensure you reach your destination without breaking a sweat. Unless, of course, that's your thing. In a nutshell, it's a comfy, intriguing e-bike, tailor-made for daily commuters and any other city cycling adventures you've got in mind. All right, let's now break down the pros and cons. Pros, powerful Bafang mid-drive motor, long claimed range, up to 260 kilometers, removable Samsung battery, Gates carbon belt drive for low maintenance and quiet ride, sleek and modern design, excellent frame construction, suited for riders with a bit more height. Cons, long charging time, five to six hours, no integrated rear light. Before we wrap up this video, I gotta tell you, this e-bike is seriously awesome and it won't break the bank at under 2,000 euros. If you're itching for more info or thinking about snagging this bike, check out the link in the description below. As of shooting this video, the Engway P275 Pro was sitting at a cool 1,009th night euros. Alright folks, wrapping up. Share your thoughts on the Engui P275 Pro below and ride on. See you next time. Cheers.